Lights, camera, and action. Oh, let me put some more light here. All right, that should be better. God, I'm fucking everything, man. Uh, here we go. I mean, I'm the fucking entertainment on the Crazy Joe Show Video Chronicles and on the Crazy Joe Show. I'm the fucking entertainment. I'm the fucking producer. I'm the fucking engineer. Very little engineering. I'm the uh, the host. I'm uh, this. I'm that. I wear lots of fucking hats. And I don't fucking like it because... The only thing I really want to do is just broadcast. You know, I don't want to fucking wear 10,000 fucking hats. You know, I'm not privileged like Ratso, Public Axo, to work in a public access station like W N A. Uh, I see, I even forgot the call is. I haven't even been thinking of these people. W M N H. Yeah, that's the call. I don't even think of these people anymore. You know, my friend has a point. He goes, Joe, just like. Don't even talk about these people, but and I don't really. I'll I'll mention them, but I won't really talk about them. There's nothing to talk about. You know, they suck. Uh <laughs> my friend uh heard their shows and couldn't get past like a few minutes, not even a few minutes. You know, I mean this is why I stand here. In a stout, I mean, I'm I'm astounded, you know, that these guys actually have something to say about me. Well, first of all, the only reason why they talk about me is because, and because they have nothing going on in their pathetic lives, number one, in their personal pathetic lives. I mean, when you live in your father's fucking, I mean, your grandfather's basement, and you live in a double wide in fucking Iowa, you ain't really got much to talk about, you know what I mean? And, and... They have no game. Let's let, let you know. Let's put it like in a in a in a black way. Oh, motherfuckers ain't got no game and shit. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? Yo, motherfuckers ain't got nothing, man. What you fuck, man? You know what I'm saying, man, motherfucker, man. You ain't got no shit, man. You ain't got no motherfucking game and shit. Yeah, you just a fucking motherfucker Oreo cookie and shit. Yeah, white on the outside and black on the inside. You know what I'm saying? You Oreo cookie motherfucker. Yeah. You know, you ain't got no more fucking game. Shit. Motherfucker. So, uh, <laughs> you know, they ain't got no game. They use me. I saw one of the, uh, the, uh, arrogant faggot, uh, no, it wasn't, was it? Wait a minute. Which one was it? Was it the Slimmy Slime Bag Faggot Show? Punk Ed's Bitch Show? It was one of them. Well, either one or two of them. Uh, yeah, it was the Slime Bag Show, the Jared and Slime Bag Show, and they have to, on their YouTube page, 80% of their YouTube page was mentioning me, and of course, posting up videos from arrogant douchebag faggot media, punk ass bitch, and, um, is, is that the only game you got? You mean, you have to... Use me to up your audience so they would be interested in your program. That's pretty pathetic, okay? And to the average person or above average person with intelligence, they would say the same thing. That's pretty lame that these people have to use my name so they can bolster their numbers. It's pathetic. And... I hate internet radio because we meet people like the scumbags of the world, the, the broke back faggot mountain, butt fucking Billy faggot painters and the arrogant medias and, and the, uh, and, but I wouldn't have met them if it wasn't for public axo, ratso, fatso, uh, uh, Covington. I would have never met these people. And it's a shame because, I would never want to meet these people. I would never hang with them in real life. I would never pal with them. I would never be friends with them. Especially their leftist, liberal, communist, fucking piece of shit, fucking uh, uh, viewpoints, sucking up to the fucking uh, black people like they do. 
And yet, these are the same people that know nothing about black culture, uh, would never go into a black neighborhood, per se, a pure white black. I, I would like to see that. I would pay as good money as I could to see those douchebags I mentioned walk into a black neighborhood and see, you know, at night, not in the daytime, at night. Because that's where all the action happens, you know? They wouldn't make it out of that neighborhood, believe me. They'd be fucking running for their fucking lives. And bring the Yenta girl with you there, Collington. You're included too. It's a field trip. See, you should get together with your station bosses since you, you're a slave and you got to work for people and, you know, you got to, you know, you, from what I heard, you already been suspended a couple times and, and, uh, I mean, forget me. I would have been more than suspended. I would have been, I would have been like cast out into the Everglades or Alaska or Russia someplace. I mean, what the fuck did, did rat so fat so public act so match so do to get suspended? But he did and he admitted it. It's a known fact. But I would get together with your state, you know, his station bosses and just do a, a planned field trip. They used to do this in, in, in retard school. They did this in junior high school. They did it in ninth, I mean, uh, you know, lower grades. The, the teacher would go, class, it's time for a field trip. Now we're going out to a field trip. I want everyone to behave themselves and follow in a single line and get into the bus. Now, please. And of course, the, 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 the person that the radio station hires to be the major D or whatever it is, or the escort, would talk like that and direct Matt so rat so fat so public act so bitch and his little faggot boyfriends into the bus, of course, with the yent the cunt bitch, okay? And they'd be going inside the bus and they'd be dropped off at a neighborhood of my choosing in New York City where there's plenty of action. Hey, they shoot cops for a fucking, like, target practice down there. Uh, you know, I mean, it's a real hood, you know? New York, even parts of Jersey, like Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> but we'll stick with New York, okay? Because, I, I mean, Newark is great, you know. Anyway, and they'd be walking around, and the bus wouldn't be there, so they can't run. They got to stand right there. They got to pick a designated area and they'll have signs that say, we love the black people or whatever it is. And even with the sign, it, it, it's just going to be total annihilation. <laughs> total annihilation. And uh, I think they should do that. Hey, if they believe so much in, in, in black causes, if they believe so much in the black people, if they believe so much in that shit, then why don't they just do this as a social experiment? That Believe me, the station will pay for the transportation. Wait a minute. That station hardly makes any money. You think they have the money to hire a major D and a school bus and make signs uh, for each member of the of the group there? I don't know. But I think they may come up with the money. Anyway, they should do that, you know? And this way they can prove that they could survive in an all-black neighborhood that has the highest crime rate. See, I'm going to put them in a good place. Believe me. This proves one thing, that Matt Public act so ratso is a hypocrite and a lying, manipulative piece of dog shit. And his fucking butt wipes are even more lying and more manipulative than he is, if you could believe that. And this will prove what kind of integrity these people got. Because if they're so, so, you know, they got the magic spell. Oh, ratso is a hypnotist. He can hypnotize his way into the hood. 
<laughs> he's, a, he's a certified hypnotist. <laughs> he can hypnotize homie. <laughs> you go, look into my eyes, homie. You are now civilized. You will not hurt me and my party. You will like white people. You will like me because I suck your dick. I worship you. I'm a liberal. What's the black man going to do? Right? You ever want to with whitey? White boy? I got something for you, boy. You better empty out your motherfucking pockets and shit. Give me all your money. Matter of fact, I don't need your money now. I see you got your bitch there. Hmm. I take your bitch. I make her shine my shoes and clean my house. Make me some Aunt Mama pancakes. Ha 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 